Have you ever tried using watercolours with your 3D embossing folders? Today I'm going to show you two different ways to do this and it's really easy to do. Welcome back, it's time for another Take Two with Teresa Altenew and today I've got two beautiful floral cards to share with you. I love the Altenew 3D embossing folders and I haven't used them anywhere near as much as I wanted to and today I wanted to give it a whirl with some watercolours. Now the sandwich that I use in my big shop is simply the base plate with no tabs out, it's just the normal base plate, then the 3D embossing folder with the cardstock in it and then a top plate, that's it. So every machine's going to be a little bit different. Every machine's going to have more pressure. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> so you do need to test your machine. You may need to shim. You may need to change up the sandwiches. Do whatever suits you. So I have used some of the watercolour paper pad cardstock today from Altenew. And this beautiful 3D embossing folder is called the Rose Bouquet. And the first way that I'm going to be adding watercolour is with pencils. Mm -hmm. Well, they're watercolour pencils. <laughs> so really easy to do. I have simply just chosen the colours that I want to use and I'm adding my colour to the base of the petals because that's where I want the colour to be darkest. Now I do want this to be quite a loose look. I don't want this to be hard. Anyone can do this. Seriously, anybody. <laughs> So I have added the colour first and then I'm coming in with my paint brush, dipped it in some water and then literally just spreading the colour out. You may notice that when, when you lay the colour down from the pencils it kind of has a real, there's such an intense vibrant colour that can leave a lot of pigment behind so by adding the water to that it's going to kind of break that up and dilute it and make it look smoother. Now this is, like I said, it's watercolour cardstock so it can tolerate a lot of water. Right here at the moment I'm not adding a lot of water and it doesn't take too long to dry. So I can easily come in and add a second layer of colour and I'm doing that with the by using the paintbrush, dipping it in a little bit of water and using the tip to tip method. So I'm picking up a bit of colour off the end of the pencil onto my paintbrush and then just laying it in the crevices there. So the other couple of roses that are in this bouquet I've done them quite a bit lighter and I will list all the colours that I've used today at the blog and that will be linked in the description below and also the products that I've used today will also be linked below and they're all available at the Alta New online store. So the big rose here, the pink one, the bright pink one, I wasn't really happy with the way that the colour was looking but what I like to do if I'm not sure what I want to do with something is I just keep moving along with my project rather than sort of stop altogether and because then I might never come back to it. I figure well it's just paper. <laughs> I can always throw it away and start again if I needed to. But what I decided to do was actually add another colour over top. So I've chosen a sort of a light orangey colour here and it's actually called Maple Yellow and I did like the look of that a lot better. I also came in with my pencils and added a couple of details just directly to the cardstock because you're working on the 3D image it makes it so easy to add the colour exactly where you need as long as you don't add too much water or too much pressure. Now I came in and did a little bit of shading here but not a lot I didn't really want to overwork this I wanted it to look fairly simple but you could make this as detailed as you want. So now how do we get it looking embossed again? Now this is easy, this is my favourite tip of today, re-emboss the embossing folder. Now it's really easy to see where it lines up with the images because we've coloured them now. I have waited for it to pretty much dry and it didn't take long because I haven't added a lot of water to this panel and then I just ran it 
through the embossing folder once more and that just takes it to the next level. All of those lovely crevices in the cardstock are back where they belong. <laughs> so for my sentiment today I've got the fine alphabet die and I've done some die cutting already. I've die cut the word happy and this is out of some of the brushed gold gilded glitter cardstock. It's in the Altenew to have five gorgeous colors in that packet through four different shades of gold they're just beautiful and then a silver or a sterling color so I layered that up on some fun foam to add some dimension and now I'm doing the sub sentiment which is from the birthday builder stamp set and I stamped that with some marshland I thought it'd be fun to add a few gold splatters and I've got the ink spray here this is the antique gold and then I did cut the panel down to sit on the front of a A2 side fold card and then simply just attached a few antique gold sequins as well as the sentiment. How pretty is that gold colour? It was hard to photograph though, I've got to say. <laughs> but very pretty. Not my normal style of card, let me know what you think because we're going a little bit different this time. It's the same but different. <laughs> we're doing this is the daisies 3D embossing folder. I thought it'd be nice to change it up and show you another floral embossing folder. You could do this with any of the bouquet flower embossing folders that Alton you have. I thought these two would be a lot of fun but this time I'm using the artist's watercolor set. You could use any paints that you may have and I'm simply just picking up the paint with the brush and dropping it onto the raised portions of the petals. Now gotta say I was looking at this and thinking this isn't my favorite it's not gonna work <laughs> but bear with me we'll get there. I have used a couple of different colors I wanted to keep it fairly similar to the other colors but this one is going to be quite a bit brighter and I'm sure you probably already know but when you're painting something the paint will dry lighter than you've laid it down so just to be aware of that I did mix up a couple of the different colors I like to work from a palette rather than directly from the watercolor set just because I don't like it to look messy and that's bad that's really weird I know that's weird but I can't build that bridge yet maybe one day when I'm grown up and painting <laughs> But I wanted a real loose look here and that's why I'd done that sort of really easy painting. So to try and get it to look a little bit looser and reactivate the paints a little bit more. I came in with the Ulta New Water Mister and I've literally, it's just got clean clear water in it. And I've seriously saturated this cardstock. But the, I obviously, I don't know, it just didn't move like I thought it would. <laughs> that's okay so I actually did set this aside to dry just because I had so much water on there and I thought I'd add just a little bit more shading on the petals and all the time I'm sort of thinking about what to do with the center of the flowers because in my mind I wanted to have them gold but I wasn't sure how I was going to do that just yet the colors that I'm using here I will also list at the blog which will be linked in the description down below. To amp it up a little bit I decided to add some more splatters and that's so that the two cards are a little bit in keeping with each other and I wanted them to be a bit darker so I added uh, quite a bit of pigment to the end of my brush and quite a lot of water and I did that with both the pink color and with the orangey color here. I'm liking how the splatters look because I know this is going to be a background to a big sentiment on my cards so that's not going to be too visible but I still wanted the gold centers so I got out my metallic watercolor 14 pan set and I wanted to use the enchanted gold color but on the black cardstock it looks amazing but on the white cardstock it wasn't doing it for me and of course I had white cardstock here so I thought I've got nothing to lose I'm going to try 
actually coloring the center of these flowers in with uh, like a chocolate brown. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it either. And I'd already committed, so I thought, well, I might as well keep going. <laughs> and after I got my color down, I let that just dry while I was thinking about what to do next with this design. <laughs> And I started by actually doing my favorite trick yet again. I waited for it to dry and then I did run it through my die cutting machine one more time with the same folder. I just lined it up and rolled it through because I had lost a lot of the dimension in this panel because I'd added so much water there. And by run rolling that through again, just added all that dimension right back to the folder. So yes, I did add the gold. You want to know how? <laughs> I simply came in and painted directly over the chocolate brown centers. I know, I had an epiphany. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. <laughs> so this didn't take a lot of water. I wanted it to be very intense so I added only a minimal amount of water and then just painted it directly over top so it didn't take very long to dry. I also wanted to add some splatters and I didn't want to use the ink spray this time. I wanted it to be matchy matchy with the center of the flowers. So I just used my paintbrush technique and I've grabbed another sub sentiment from the birthday builder stamp set and I'm going to white heat emboss that on some jet black cardstock and then cut that down. So this is going to have a really bold sentiment in the center of the card and I've done exactly the same with the word happy but this time I've popped it up on some foam foam and die cut it out of some jet black cardstock and then I did pop up the sub sentiment here as well. I thought about adding some antique gold sequins but this time just to change it up and make it look a bit more modern I decided to go for the black and white enamel dots. I don't know. Which one's your favourite? Let me know. <laughs> Is it the daisies or the rose bouquet? Are you more antique -y or more bold and modern? Let me know in the comments below. If you want some more ideas on how to use your 3D embossing folders, I've linked a couple more videos here. So thanks so much for joining me today. Till next time. Happy paper crafting. Bye.